so this is Pekka Minosa, Pixel Noir game. Uh, this came out recently as well, tw 27th of May. Yeah, I'd been following this for quite a while. Um, I am on their Discord as well. So I like the art style. <laughs> um, and I was sent a key by Lazaro from Badland Publishing. So thank you very much to Lazaro. This one, yeah. Um, so I have followed it quite a bit. It just sounded quite interesting, didn't it? Police action RPG in which you embody a disgraced detective on the strangest case of his career. Um, well, it's eight, eight user reviews, so I thought I saw a cut coming in. <laughs> I didn't. Right, we shall load it up. I think they did a Kickstarter. I think you're right there. I'm not sure if I did this one. Um, why is nothing happening? Oh, there it goes. Right. Made with Game Maker. Okay. Serial games. Let's hope it's not flaky. Let's find my Kickstarter. See, I already like it. I like the music. <laughs> uh, 54 backed projects. I can't see it on my back list. Let's see if I can pick a minusa. Not finding that on Kickstarter, but. Yeah, I like the me I like it. I like the font. <laughs> I like the sound effects. Oh, look, he's been hurt. More stuff. What's under more stuff? Oh, play a game of blackjack. Listen to the game soundtrack. general settings. Well, I like the music, so we're leaving that up there. Not often you hear me saying that. Alright, color vision. Adjust the sliders until the images are barely visible. Okay, it's barely visible. I'll just leave it like that. It looks depressing, does it? <laughs> okay, we've got the eye dash Shoot holster activate perk. Oh, we can swap to a controller. <clears throat> we won't be doing that though. Right. Oh, what was what was melee? Right mouse button. Okay. New game. He's been boozing. Jokers. Susa. What the? Do you want that treat? Luna's on the go. I put them in there. So you can make an appearance. Nicely animated. I like all, I like the 
I like with the card and the hand and the dice. Or is that dice he's rolling, throwing up in there? Yeah. <laughs> this fridge lights on the blink. It's Charlie. Well, 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 if it's not the great John Souza. Have you? What's your cat's name? I should go easy with the Mac Daniels. My dreams are getting too realistic and strange. Now you see, he looks like he's... <laughs> he looks like um, he's got a jacket on in the, in the image. Let me assure you then, you're not dreaming. You can bet your ass this is the real Johnny boy. Realize the fucking bullet you put in my head during that fateful raid. Realize the six feet I've been under all this time, waiting to get my redemption so I could rest for eternity. But how do you expect me to believe that a crook like you can be redeemed? You see, Johnny boy, that's the beauty of being dead. No matter how dirty your life was, you always have the right to a last opportunity. Which is why I'm here today. Don't tell me you want me to car your bags to St. Peter's Guesthouse. Well, I've done my part. Hard to forget that, yet I'm not a spiteful fellow. That's why I'm here to help you. How selfless of you. But how are you going to help me, exactly? You're the one who wants to get into heaven, and as far as I'm concerned, you can rot in hell for all eternity. <coughs> According to a little bird, you were suspended from the force for killing me instead of bringing me in. Even your old partner, Detective Sullivan, was demoted back to traffic. Now he spends his days looking for jaywalkers, or at least used to. What do you mean, used to? Holy moly, Johnny, you've really been hitting the sauce hard, haven't you? Yeah, Polly, Sullivan's been missing for two weeks, dummy. We've been watching the, um, the last season of Bosch on the telly. We forgot we hadn't watched it. <laughs> We watched all the other series. Yeah, that sounds about, about right, pal. Sounds like he got into bind after snooping too long around my old buddies. You son of a... Easy there, cowboy. I've been dead, okay? i got nothing to do with this. So your offer is? My offer is a pretty list with some names on it. Put them in their rightful place and it's heaven for me and you get to find your old partner Sully. No strings attached. Yeah, so this guy's dead, by the sounds of it. The guy with a card in his hand. And there's two buddies. I presume they're dead as well. That's some, um, I just noticed how the state the bed's in. <laughs> the mattress. The whole house is a bit of a wreck, isn't it? All apart from the of the divine plan, bad students shouldn't distract the good ones, should, so put them in the slammer. <coughs> it's probably just beer in the fridge. There's a lot of little details, isn't there? Everywhere, it's nice, nicely done. So let's get one thing straight, Gambino. The only reason I'm going to do any of this for you is Sully. Heaven, hell, the landfill. I couldn't care less where you end up. Wise decision. Oh, Johnny boy, you may need a gun. Just saying. I like the stills that they've got. Well, I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't step outside wearing this. Might want to dress up beforehand. Press escape to exit. <clears throat> Nicely animated.
Those um, arms look a bit stiff. <laughs> yeah, we should step outside, shouldn't we? You never follow the tutorials. It can be great. <laughs> they obviously thought of that. Let's grab some clothes. Okay, now, to put these on, I only have to press the I or the tab keys to access my inventory. I always find it a bit strange when the character says what keys to press. I always think that should be a little pop-up or something. <laughs> Hey, we've got a Sousa Lucky Tie. Two luck. I've never seen that before. In any game. Lucky Tie. <laughs> a Sousa Poor Jacket. A stained, ragged shirt and jacket. It's got no stats. Old shoes. And his poor pants. Oh, we get a bonus plus one on luck for having the whole set on. I that's bullets. Is that painkillers, you think? Oh, you can't see that. Hold on, let me just swap my camera over. Get back into the game. He's got bullets and he's got... Looks like painkillers. We're at... Uh, are we at... We must be at full health, yeah. This is the dark book. Charlie's gifted as a weird texture. Okay, so here's the list of names. This is his life. The Paradise. Port Chester, the Docks, Downtown Sook, St. Joachim, Sink, the Casino District, the Spiral Plaza. Get a gun. Okay, we've got our story. We need to get a gun. Pendium. Here we go. <laughs> well, Susie, you're a handsome devil and you were an incredible detective once, but honestly, you drink too much these days and you look like shit. There's no other way to put it. Okay, I like this. I like the fact you can go in again and look. People. He uses a baseball bat as a weapon that's called Dolores, in honour of the girl he fell in love with back in school. Right. Where can we go? We can have a look in here. Nothing there. We can store stuff. We'll keep that with us. Okay. Oh, you've changed the fish. <laughs> uh, below the stone supplied um, quite a lot of their own uh, uh, avatars, including the one he's using. I like my cat. That fat ass really raided my fridge, even got the month old enchiladas and the mushrooms that grew on them. <laughs> right, let's head on outside. Need to break this old camel's back with all of this stuff. No one like you, Dio's chest, to store anything that's weighing me down. Oh. So we've got to put the book away, have we? I want to take it with me. Yeah, I'll move the camera back. So. Where to there? I can't believe that damn neighbour left his trash back outside the hall again. Was that the black bag down in the right-hand corner? Okay. I don't have time to, to be nice about this. Pressing the left mouse button will allow me to throw punches and wreck this trash bag. 
Good thing the bog doesn't fight bog. But if it did, pressing the right mouse button <laughs> would allow me to defend myself. This is a real dive of a place, isn't it? Oh, is, is that blocking the stairway? Okay. So if I could... Oh, I've got a cursor. And that, that's me defending myself, look. Where am I? Cross. That's a tough bag. Ten chips added and a Mark Daniels. Brand new whiskey bottle in the trash looks like my luck's finally returning. But I'm going to take on the circus. I'd better keep the mark on hand. All I have to do is hover an item in my inventory and press the number between two and four to assign it to my quick slots. So we've got restores a hundred percent of your health. A Mark Daniels. I think we'll put that in there. Head on down. We're going anywhere here and here we're just going down the next floor. Yeah, they obviously couldn't put in a Jack Daniels for copyright. <laughs> Yeah. But we all know what they meant. Chapter 1 The Collector of Souls. Well, time to head to Weasley Pond to get my old shooter back. Don't know what's worse, having to deal with a crook named Rivera, Riviera, or asking fights for anything with po just pocket change. Tonight's going to be a long night. I really like the music. I presume this is set in America. You have crossings like that. What's this? It's an apple core. I think it's an apple core. I assume we're heading up this way to the Weasley Pawn Shop. There's a goldfish in a bowl. Philip Vice. So John, what's it gonna be this time? I'm done with fish bowls. Take it easy, Vice. You still got my old 38 lying around? Yeah, it hasn't been easy selling it, you know. But I believe sooner or later some pampered rich kid will offer a nice stack of dough for the gun that killed the infamous Charlie Two Angels. I guess that's one way of putting it. You say something? No, nothing. Say how much are you asking for it? Too much for your pocket. Maybe the case, but money ain't the only currency in this city. Where are you getting that? I bet a full bottle of mark that someone around these parts should be owing you some dough. So I scratch your back, and I scratch yours a little quid pro quo. Is that it? You could say that. I don't know what you feel about the large character graphics in the chat box. I feel this could be smaller. Because um, the pixels are too big and you lose the, the detail. Well, the bookie on Mercy Avenue does owe me more than 2,000 chips. This bookie got a name. Roger Moon. That motherfucker is by a brand new freaking Plymouth and conveniently forgets that he is indebted to half the city. No kidding. 
3,000 chips ain't no joke, Johnny. He lives on the top floor of the Chip Hotel and hasn't paid for any rent in six months. I'll get on top of it, no worries, Vice. In the meantime, give old Faithful a nice shine for me. I want it as pretty as if it was going to a prom. But I got feeling there's a lot of people will be graduating in the city real soon. I'll drop you a line when it's done. Right, so we need to head somewhere. Can we talk to the... Oh! Okay. That's good. Travis Bicker. Bickler. Talking to me? Where to partner? Hey, okay, we need to go to the Spyro Plaza, but we probably don't have any money, do we? Ah, no cash. <laughs> Oh, Dre, philosopher, philosoph, philosophical dissertation, synchronized swimming, pretty much anything except planting that ass in this taxi here. I wonder if there's anything in this bag. Has it got like a line it has, look, for where you're aiming? Did we get anything? Did we get anything? <gasps> Nothing in that bag. Right, we need to go this way. We're walking the streets. This damn city is getting more dangerous by the minute. I gotta be quick on my feet. I can use spacebar to dash and avoid attacks. Just gotta keep an eye on my stamina levels. Who's he gonna get attacked by? Okay, we need to go down to here and along. This was a cut. We just walked over the cut. The wiggly piggly. Dave's liquor store. Whoa! I almost got run over by the police car. <laughs> Susa, where can I find Mr. Moon? That bastard lives on the top floor. Just like that? I don't have to bribe or intimidate you? Nope, here's the key. Just have fun. Why they got typewriters over? I should record my journey so far. Old number seven is starting to put the hurt on me. Oh, right. Saving. Oh, you missed that. Let me move the camera over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> See when you save. You got a tight wire up, saving. In the bottom corner. I like that. But I need my camera back over there. So the typewriters are for saving. Uh, top floor. That can't be his room, is it? With the love heart? <laughs> it's a love palace. Roger Moon. Who dares to barge into my penthouse like this? Do you have any idea who I am? Sure do, Roger. You're a slimy horn swaggler that seems to forget who you owe his money to. That's another series I haven't played. Persona. Oh, money? Me? Yeah, you, Moon. It turns out that you promised to pay many moons ago. Who the hell told you this? Vice. Fuck that old geezer. Wow, you're so masculine, Roger. I like that oh so many manly robe. Either you're a goddamn bonehead or you got balls the size of Jupiter and Saturn to come into my house and call me a swindler. Folks used to call me Big Bang at the school. Listen, I couldn't give a rat's ass if your friends give you the name of some stupid London church at school. 
Now you better mosey on out of here before you catch these hands. Right, so we're going to um, force him. And we can't do the intelligence thing. Why would we... Why, when would we get plus three intelligence? It's not going. I'm not defending very well, am I? I'm almost dead. I got him. All right, already. Take the door. That's enough for Christ's sake. Okay, so got his money. There's money for Roger Moon. That looks like. Ah, so it's. It's more like um, casino chips, isn't it? 60 chips. I will just take this extra for the trouble. 100 chips added. Okay, can we do it again? I already paid vice. Don't owe him a dime anymore. Our health is really low. I'm going to use my... Booze. There we go. Can't use the bed, can't use the phone. What's that line on the floor? Over here, is, oh, is that his slippers? He's got pink slippers. Look at all the, the dressing gowns, the manly dressing gowns. He's got a rubber ducky in the bath. Nothing to interact with. That's a shame. That's what I liked about um, Little Nightmares the other week. You could interact with practically everything. Stuff you would obviously not normally interact with if you were speeding through the game. But the developers would still... But they still put a lot of work into it. <coughs> Hmm, a taxi. I'm willing to spare some chips so I can get to where I want to faster. Should we waste some money on... Where to, partner? It's the same taxi driver. Eight chips. Yeah, why not? Here it is, vice, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Well, what do you know, much obliged. Susa, here's your gun as promised. She's as pretty as I remember her. Much appreciated, vice, take care now. <coughs> Hold your horses, Johnny, a gun's no good without any lead to spit. Take these, consider these an investment. I can sell you some more if you run dry. Branching out to sell in live ammo. Jesus, what you won't do for a pretty penny. Never mind that. I'm looking for a guy named Cecilio Riviera. There's an eye missing. If it was Riviera. It was by El Kosh. You know him? Rivera? Never heard of him. 
but the Chinaski is a bar that's usually patroned by a group of Latinos. You'll have better luck there, I bet. Thanks for the tip. Okay, it's saving. Handgun added. Ah, it feels good to have the loyal old girl close to my heart again. Actually, a little bit to the left and down. So you got to remember to use G to draw and holster it. Oh. Put that there. If I was to put that in... There. Okay, I got my gun. I've got 250 bullets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's that for? Level up. Okay, so we are leveling up. Well, we've got quite a lot of luck as it is. Intelligence makes you a better shot and negotiator. We should probably have that. Let's put that in. Right, we are going... We need to go there. At least it's flashing on the map where we need to go. Okay, I like the map. I like the fact that's... Is that where the taxi is then? That's where we need to go. Can we just head up there? Yeah. Life points. If we're a better shot, we don't need as many life points. <laughs> so there's the taxi. Like the car. I think I could smash this back again. I need another bottle. Didn't work, right. The Chinoski. Well, you're highlighted in red, so it's probably you. Oh, no, it's Diego. No, senor, I know Hablo Gringo. Excuse me, boys, do any of you know a guy named Rivera? Me? You know a beautiful girl called Tequila? <laughs> so, what's your poison? Kick it off with a Mac, fella. A Mac? Mac Daniels. We're on the first name basis. We go back a long way. You want ice on that? Yeah, three rocks. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Turn Christian tonight. Your thing, sport. Anything else? I'm looking for a bit of info, brother. I ever heard of one Cecilio Rivera? Never heard of him. However, you might have better luck if you ask the Spaniards over there. Thanks. But they want tequila. I've been told that you are the right folk to get some info. Any of you folk ever heard of the one they call El Kosh? Horror. I'm not seeing it, horror at home, but tequila has a weird may way of making me remember stuff, you know? We could use our luck, it's quite high. Did you mean the Elkosh? Ah yes, he only enjoys two things in life, driving trucks and chubby mam mama cheetahs? Okay. And where does he usually change his oil? At La Joy de Vive. We passed that on the way here. Yeah, mama cheetahs. Mama Sitas. Not Cheetahs, okay. Mama Sitas. Yeah, hot. That's, that's what I took it for, but then. Um... Uh, right, we might get there. We bump into Char. Who's Charlena? I already have too many distractions on my plate. Right, let's head on down there. <laughs> the 
Is he drunk? <laughs> and he's peeing up against the wall. Uh, where are we headed? Yeah, we did pass it on the way, didn't we? No, oh, it was this this place here. Look. <clears throat> <laughs> Paloma. Not a honey, just take me out to dinner first. Well, it's not often we have a gentleman passing by. What can I do for you then, sugar? Is Charlena around? No, she left. How about Rivera? Did he stop by recently? Who? Never mind. Thanks, kid. Never got your name, stranger. Peter. <laughs> Is it? Caroline, feeling thirsty, stranger. Not at the moment. Say, you mind answering a question? Depends. Do you mind paying five chips for an answer? We've got money. Ever see a guy named Rivera around these parts? Also goes by the name of El Kosh. Yeah, big man, moustache, Latino mechanic, if I'm not mistaken. Is he in? He's been here. You know who he was with? I might. Still got your wallet handy? He was with the boss, Madame Dewberry, as always. She's currently busy at the moment, though. Any chance I could talk to her? Fat chance. You'd have better luck talking to the blonde with the pink dress. Might be able to help you out. Okay, so is this the blonde with the pink dress? Olga. I've been gazing at you for hours, darling. There's no music. The music stopped. Have music in a place like this. I've been looking for you for years, hot stuff. Well, aren't you a charmer? Now that's that out of the way, what did you have in mind? First, keep talking. Afterwards, who knows? The night is still young. Talking's free for now, stud. That's a peculiar accent. Eastern Europe? How do you know? That Byzantine necklace was a dead giveaway. You also struggle with some vocal tones, and I noticed the nasal register as well. Well, aren't you sharp? Well, a question. There'll be a second one, but go ahead. Ever seen a fella called Rivera around these parts? Hangs out with one of your more corpulent girls? Know her? That's a lot of questions. You kind of can't cop. do any of these. We do the luck one because our luck's quite high. Cop, not the slightest. I'm his cousin and I'm looking for him. Sorry about all the questions. No idea where this Rivera guy is, but the chubby girl you're referring to can only be mine. Madame Dubry. Takes care of all the girls here. The thing is that Madame is currently busy at the moment and not taking any visitors. If I don't come up there with a good reason, she'll have my head. Well, how about I give you a reason? Any ideas? No idea, love. On a completely unrelated note, however, I'm sure... I sure wish someone would do something about that client over there. He's been getting real touchy with the girls. Too touchy. I hope someone does something about that soon. I see. I'll talk to you in a bit. So you still play Pokemon a lot, uh, Mushroom King? I always tried to get into the games. I did play them some, but I never got very far. Um, it's a time thing, really. Don't you know, I'm not into that kind of thing. Oh, come on, sugar tits, I promise it's not that bad. Let's go somewhere more private and we can... Yeah, I think... 
some of the they've not sort of lose some of the charm some of the newer ones just maybe change a style of graphics or something or the pixel graphics were always what, what uh, pulled you in I think Emerald okay <clears throat> now we had quite a few on the DS because because my son played them um, quite sure about Emerald Platinum we had Platinum Now listen to me, whore, I paid good money for you and I'm going to get my goddamn money's worth, whether you like it or not. Hands off the girl. What? I said hands off the girl. Who the fuck are you? We're going to do... That or that. Our intelligence isn't great. Let's try this one. I mean the whore is tainted. Yeah, buddy, I've been pissing fire ever since I met her. A couple of weeks back, just looking out for a pal, you see. Damn it, guess I'll just settle for having my lap warm. But that's not... but not that hot. Oh, we've got music again. So... Is she going to talk to us more now? Why aren't you a good Samaritan? Give me a second, I'll notify the boss lady of your help. Okay, the madame will see you now. Just head on up, sugar. I'll just talk to her and then I'll maybe... Um, on to something else. Evening, madame. One swarm on share. I would have Hansel. <laughs> Sat Connard personally, but as our business beckoned, I guess I should thank you. I don't speak French, as you can tell. I haven't seen your pressy face around here, newcomer to La Joux de Vive. Not my first time, but it's the first time I noticed you. Oh, is that a fact? Mm hmm, and the boy, do I like what I see. Desolé, my boy, I'm not on the clock anymore. Well, it's a crying shame that I can only afford the pleasure of talking to you right now. I assume that you're Madame Dubery? Or is it Mademoiselle with the MME? So you assume correctly. My cousin Rivera told me heaps about you. Rivera? Yeah, I dropped into Pekka Manosa to see him. El Padre de Cesolio he Marido, and he left a pretty sizable fortune in his hands. Really? No joke, millions, senorita. I know, know where I can find him? Currently works at the warehouse on Corinthian Street. Here you have, take this key. Who needs that to ouvre the front gate? Much supplies, ma'am. Even so soon. You want not you do not want a girl. Truth be told I wanted you, but Cecilia would wring my neck if I even dared. We got twenty-five experience. Of course, we put two into intelligence, didn't we? So intelligence is working. Right, uh, let me find a typewriter <laughs> so I can save the game. Oh, Charlena. Well, look at the cop dragged down. I was just thinking about you, sugar. What brings you to my humble abode? Just came to check up on how the mayor's been treating you. Johnny, don't be like that. So how's it going, baby doll? Same old Samuel, you know how it is. I know, kid, we're too good for this life. One day we'll pack up and take off to the sunset. You'll drive and I'll crash you the whole way. You're full of shit, John. 
Maybe, or I'll surprise you with our moon dance when I'm done taking care of a little business. Johnny, are you in trouble? Nah, sweet cheeks, my troubles are in trouble. My troubles are in trouble? What are you trying to say? Never mind, I'm looking for a guy named Rivera. Works in one of the warehouses down at the docks. Know anything about him? I've seen him around here, but I don't know exactly where he works at. One more thing, ever heard of a scumbag named Mamuso? I heard he was superior as accountant at some point. Also heard he was snatched into witness protection. Why? No reason. Thanks about all I really appreciate it. Right. Bye. Right, we need to save. I'm gonna go this way. So that's the dash. Whee. I need to find a save bit. Pawn shop was over here. Here's Weasley Pawn. And let's go up here. Save game. There we go. Right, we'll leave that one just now. I was quite enjoying that. A lot of reading. Um, which is okay if you're not streaming. <laughs> um, it's normally you wouldn't read that out. So that was... No, I don't want to run it again. To go to the store page. Which isn't work. Oh, here we go. Uh, so that's Pekka Pixel Noir game um, from developed by Serial Games, came out on 27th of May, published by Badland Publishing. Thank you again to Lazaro for the game key, much appreciated. Um, what, I think I'll do one more first look. Um, The game that Below the Stone kept asking me to have a look at was um, Courier of the Crypts. This one. Um, I thought we'd give that a quick look. I have loaded it up before and had a quick look at it offline. Um, let me just update my stream info. Uh, I might get some more coffee at the same time, a uh, quick bio break, and then we'll give us a, a look at it. I shall be back in a few minutes.